Vaporwave sounds like what drowning in a mall fountain would feel like. That's exactly what it is. I've never felt more offended, but more in agreement with anything in my entire life. Welcome to Plastic Surgery Addicts Anonymous. I'm seeing a lot of new faces in the crowd this week, and I just have to say, I'm really disappointed. Do British people really eat beans on toast as a meal? In America, with everyone ignorant. It was just a question. Damn, no need to get hostile. Go eat some beans on toast. I am 41 Cheetos tall. Why did you think you need to measure yourself in Cheetos? We were out of Doritos. Y'all mentioned dice, laundry pods, bath bombs, but you're forgetting about the most chewy thing of all. DS styluses. Ah, oh, the forbidden pockies. What is happening? Enough pog champ this and epic gamer that. Stop it with this modern slang. I say we bring back phrases like the bee's knees and G's the wheeze and applesauce. Bring back the superior slang. Hey, right, Boomer, calm down. Quite sure that kiwi is a fruit and not an accent? I thought it was the bird. Thought it was shoe polish. What the fuck are you two talking about? They call me Seven Knives because that's how many knives it takes me to cook things because I keep putting them in the fucking sink without thinking about it. Nice to meet you. Does anyone actually know what they're doing or are we all just hopelessly wandering? Because at this point, that's what it feels like for me. My sanity at this point is questionable, but hey, at least I can make a pretty good grilled cheese. I think if you wanted to eat white chocolate, you could just eat candle wax instead and not even notice the difference. <laughs> you're just mad I'm eating this delicious white chocolate and you're not. My God, this isn't white chocolate. I like wearing oversized sweaters. Not because they're extremely comfy and cuddly, but because whenever the sleeves are really big, I get to flop them around and smack people. I love sleeve smacking people. Like flippity flop, you need to stop. Whippity whap, don't talk crap. All right, that's it. Might get hate for this, but it needs to be said. Liking a conventionally pretty, especially anime-esque person with horns or pointy teeth slapped on him doesn't make you a monster fucker. That isn't a monster. It's a Halloween costume. Scales and tails with a not entirely human face are a bare minimum requirement for monster fucker bait. And your five dollar gotcha waifu isn't thick. Good addition, you're right, and you should say it. Sometimes I misgender myself, and it's so funny, because it's like, bro, what the hell, you're supposed to be on my side. The betrayal. Not to sound like a goth elitist, but if you haven't died, you're a poser. Well then, Jesus is goth, I don't make the rules. The original goth. So now I'm, I'm sorry, but picked you up and put you in a backpack. This is mine now. Help! I'm being blown!